Hello, this is Mike from Loop and Learn. Today, I'm going to walk you through another way to build open source AID apps for iPhone. A lot of people use Browser Build to build their looping app to Apple Test Flight using GitHub Actions and Fastlane. Unfortunately, an issue between Fastlane and Apple started occurring recently, which blocks many users from using Browser Build. If you've already Browser Built Trio Main 0.2, or the open beta of Trio Dev 0.5, or Loop 3.4 or higher, then you should be able to continue to browser build as usual by only running action number four and not actions one through three. You can also sync GitHub to the latest version of Trio 0.2, or Trio 0.5, or Loop 3.6. Unfortunately though, if you need to update your identifiers or certificate, you won't be able to browser build at the time this video was made. It also applies to anyone who wants to build Trio 0.2, Trio 0.5, or Loop for the first time. It's June 7th, 2025 now, so if you're in the future watching this, hopefully Fastlane and Apple have resolved their issue and browser build works again. If not, or if you're just interested in a different way to build, let's get started. It's just browser build through GitHub Actions that is broken right now. So if you have a Mac or you have access to a Mac, you should be able to build via Xcode just fine. If you don't have access to a Mac, I'll walk you through how to rent one online. Mac in Cloud allows you to remote control a Mac from Windows, Linux, Chromebook, Mac, iOS, or Android. It might be a bit difficult to do it from a phone, but a tablet might work okay if you don't have a computer. So first, let's go to macincloud.com and hit pricing at the top. We're going to select the cheapest option, managed server, which offers a one day trial for 99 cents and then $25 a month if you choose to keep using it past that. If you do want to continue to use it, it might be worth selecting the pay as you go plan instead, which only costs $1 an hour as you should be able to build within an hour. There is no trial period for the pay-as-you-go though, and it costs a minimum of $30 to start, which is why we're going to select the managed server plan. So let's hit buy plan, select Xcode iOS dev, Mac mini silicon M1, location probably doesn't matter much, but I'll select the closest option to me. Xcode 16.2 will work fine for building Trio or Loop, so Sonoma 14.76 is fine, but if that requirement changes in the future and you need a later version of Xcode, you can select a different Mac Mini option at the top, which offers later versions of Mac OS for a slightly higher price. We'll select monthly, day monthly limit, and seven day monthly limit, this means you can only use the Mac for seven days of the month, but that should allow you to build almost twice a week, which should be plenty sufficient for most people. 100 megabit per second is fine, as is no SSH. Now that we have all that selected, we'll hit buy now. Enter your name, email, and payment information, check the boxes, and hit place order. Now go to your email, and you should have three new emails in your inbox or spam folder. Open the first email to create your portal password. Click the link, create a password. And use your email address and newly created password to sign in. There's your Mac in the cloud. Let's go back to the emails. The second email is just your invoice for the trial. The third email contains your login information for your Mac in the cloud, which is different than your login information for the website. Here's your Mac username and your Mac password. I ran into some difficulties trying to log in when I kept switching back and forth between two tabs. So I'd recommend just writing down your user pass or opening the email on your phone so you can type it in in one shot. So let's go back to the Mac and click the computer icon to connect now. 
type in your user pass. It might take a bit to initialize, just be patient. I'll fast forward through it. If you notice scroll bars on the side of the window like me, you can go into your web browser settings and zoom out a bit. If you don't know how, open a new tab and ask a search engine how to zoom out for your web browser. Now let's open a web browser on the Mac. Safari, Firefox, and Chrome are pre-installed, so pick whichever you prefer. I'm going to go to triodocs.org first, but after I build Trio, I'll go to loopdocs.org and build loop. I'll also point you towards how to build loop follow, xtrip for iOS, and loop caregiver. In Trio Docs, hit installation and update, then build with Mac, and build Trio with Xcode. On the right side, click download Trio and Trio build select script. Click the icon on the right to copy the command. Now go to the bottom of the screen and open the terminal app. Right click to paste the command into terminal and hit enter or return on your keyboard. Some keyboards have a return key, others have an enter key, but I'll use the terms interchangeably in this video. If we wanted to build loop follow or xstrip for iOS, we'd type 2, hit enter, 1, enter, and then whichever app you wanted to build. Let's just type 3 and hit enter to go back to build trio though. So we'll type 1 and hit enter here. If you want to build Trio Main 0.2, enter 1. Or if you want to build the open beta Trio 0.5, enter 2 for Trio Dev. I'm going to go with 2. Once you hit enter, it will start downloading the code to build Trio. Once it's finished downloading, hit enter on your keyboard to continue. I hit number 1 here to sign automatically, but it didn't work for me anyway, so you could just type 2 instead. If you do choose 1, just follow those instructions to sign into Apple Developer and get your team ID, and type it into the terminal. Check if you typed it correctly and enter 1 to continue. Enter 1 to ensure a year, but we're still going to build a test flight, so it will actually only work for 3 months until you're forced to build again. Though you should rebuild much sooner than that. Hit enter and Xcode should automatically open. With the Xcode app selected, go to the top left corner and click Xcode, Settings, Account, Plus to Add, Apple ID, and Continue. Enter the email you use for your Apple developer account. And click Next. And your password and click Next. Enter your two-factor authentication code. And now that we're logged in, click the red button to close that window. Click Trio on the left, and then Signing and Capabilities. Since I hit Sign Automatically, these should already be selected, but for some reason they aren't, so I'm just going to manually sign my account to each section myself. For each target, click Team, and select your account.
Now at the top, we have a simulator selected to build to. We're going to click this to change it to any iOS device. And then product at the top, and then archive. Maybe later we'll do a video for Xcode Cloud, but not today. If you look at the top of Xcode, you can see it's currently building. This might take a little while, so I'm just going to fast forward the video a bit. Once it finishes building, this archives window should pop up. With the build selected, click distribute app, choose test flight internal only, and then distribute. I'm going to fast forward ahead for this part too. Once it's finished, if you see this warning, that's normal, so don't worry about it. Hit done, and once Apple finishes processing your uploaded build, it should be available in your test flight, just as it would had you browser built with GitHub Actions. All right, I'm going to close out of Xcode now and build loop. So let's go back to the web browser. and go to loopdocs.org. Click Build with Mac. And Build Loop. And then on the right, Build Select Script. Click the icon to copy the command. Since Terminal is already open from building Trio, we can just enter 4 to exit the Trio build select script. Or you could close it out and reopen Terminal with the black app icon at the bottom of the screen. So in Terminal, right click and paste the command you copied. If you wanted to build loop follow, loop caregiver, or xstrip for iOS, you could enter 2, then 1 and then the number to choose the app you want. Let's just enter four and go back to build loop though. Type one and hit enter. Type one and hit enter. Once it's finished downloading loops code, you can hit enter to continue. I once again tried to sign automatically, but it didn't work for me anyway, so I might as well just have selected two for manual signing. Enter to continue, go find your team ID, then click back into terminal and enter it there. Check to make sure you entered it correctly, then type 1 and hit enter. 1 to ensure a year, press enter again and it should open loop in Xcode. Since we already signed into our Apple developer account when we built Trio, we don't have to do that part again. If you skip the Trio build, go back to that part if you need help adding your login to Xcode. Since automatic signing didn't work for me, I'll click loop on the left, then signing and capabilities, then I'll click each target on the left. And if team is red, click it and enter your account. Go to the top and change it from an iPhone simulator to any iOS device. Now select product at the top, then archive. It'll take a while to build, so I'll fast forward the video. Once it's finished, the archives window should appear. With your build selected, click distribute app. 
then test flight internal only, then distribute. I'll fast forward while it uploads. You can ignore these warnings and just hit done. Once Apple finishes processing your uploaded build, it should be available in your test flight, just as it would have been had you browser built with GitHub Actions. Now let's close out of everything and log out. Logging out is important to avoid being charged for time you aren't actually using Mac in Cloud. Click the Apple icon in the upper left corner, click Log Out at the bottom, and then click Log Out. If you just close the tab or browser without clicking Log Out, you'll rack up more charges than you need. If you're using Loop or Trio 0.2, you could probably just cancel your subscription now and avoid the $25 charge, and then resubscribe the next time you need to update and or renew your build if browser build isn't working by then. For the closed beta Trio 0.5 though, you should be updating and rebuilding at least once a week, so you might want to just keep your subscription going until browser build works again. To cancel your subscription, go to portal.macincloud.com and click subscriptions at the top, and then all subscriptions, click options, and update this plan. Scroll down and click Cancel Subscription, check the box, and click Next. Give it a rating if you'd like. Next, Cancel Subscription. I hope this video met your needs, but if you got stuck anywhere or have any questions, just make a post on Facebook in the Loop and Learn or Trio group or in the Trio Discord at discord.triodocs.org.